Okay, so a very warm welcome uh, to this morning's Saturday school. We're not going to call it Saturday school. Who wants to be at school? It's a bank holiday Saturday. So I take it upon myself to call it a Saturday bonus session because to me that feels nicer than Saturday school. At the best of times, we don't want to be at school, especially not on a bank holiday Saturday morning. So welcome to this morning's Internet Business School Saturday session with myself, Ben Brophy. Uh, who will be looking after the first proceedings for the next 50 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes, giving you lots of value. And then I'll be handing over to Simon, who's going to introduce two very special guests, Ali and Zamir, who are going to give you, uh, uh, for the first time, a whole strategy, which they have been doing incredibly well with. But I'll let Simon introduce that, and then I'll stick around to take questions in the chat and if you've got anything at the end of the second session if there are any questions I'll still be in the chat so I'll close off the session with Simon as well so thank you for being here um what I would suggest it's a bonus session we're not a school <clears throat> but to get the most from this what I would suggest as always is just to be present okay as with anything in life the more present we are the more we get from something I've got a lot to get through uh, and I know that you can definitely get some great takeout. So what I would suggest, if possible, switch off the distractions, be 100% or as close to 100% present as you can be. And I'm going to ask quite a few questions starting in about 30 seconds. So just hit me really quickly in the chat area. When I ask a question or if I'm asking for feedback, please hit me really quickly so that I'm not waiting. Then I can move on to the next bit of content, but based upon your, your interactions as well. So quick to and fro so that we can get through the most content and give you the best value for the time that you're investing here. So who am I and what's my aim? Well, <clears throat> ultimately, I want to make sure that you come off at least this first 45, 50 minutes, but I know Simon's intent is the same, to make sure that you come away thinking, do you know what? I'm really glad that I invested my Saturday morning, or if you're watching this on playback, that I invested this couple of hours to learn with the Internet Business School and the return of the information that I have been presented with or that's hopefully got a couple of things shifting up here has been well worth the time invested because remember time is the one non-renewable asset which we never get more of and every moment, every second, every minute, every hour that passes is one minute, hour, second, day, that we're never getting back okay so we want to make sure that we invest our time wisely so i'm here to give you great value uh, as is my sort of uh, de facto sort of reason for being and in case you don't know me i've had the privilege of working with many of you through the internet business school and at events and workshops and business shows around the uk and around the world but i have been working alongside simon um, for over 10 years we've traveled around the world we've helped thousands of business owners, marketers, entrepreneurs, philanthropists uh, of all backgrounds, of all ages, of all races, of all capabilities. Um, and both of us, we come from slightly different angles, but ultimately we, we enjoy helping people and we love seeing results. Um, have had the privilege through Simon's introduction to sort of meet Tony Robbins, um, have delivered uh, books and radio shows for companies such as Hay House, the world's leading mind, body and spirit publisher. I love adventure. I've just come back from Lisbon yesterday morning. Um, I've written books for magazines, trained thousands of people, uh, done lots of non-profit work and philanthropy philanthropy around the world but ultimately it's about distilling information which can make a difference to one's life my life your life and whoever else we want to share it with to hopefully make this world a little bit better place and to give you back more time to enjoy more time with your friends your family or maybe you don't have friends and you don't have family but to do the things that you really really want to do and enjoy life okay so that's my purpose today but enough about me I would like to know please so quickly in the chat um, give me your name, please, where you are located right now. And on a scale of one to 10, 10 being absolutely amazing, couldn't be any better. One being absolutely awful, couldn't be any worse. So just a litmus test of right now, kind of on Saturday, the, is it the 30th day of April, how you're feeling right now and where you are located. And I'll do a quick roll call. So type into the chat, please. So we've got Mike in Wiltshire on a four. We've got Edward on a 10. Brilliant. If you're on an eight or above, just type in a couple of the things why you believe that you are at such a high point because we can all learn from each other. We've got the Netherlands. We've got Hures. 
We've got Araga from uh, Romania. We've got London, Josephine. Um, we've got Keeley, West Yorkshire on a nine. We've got Howard on a nine. So if you're an eight or a nine, please just type in a couple of the things that you believe are helping you to be feeling so good, because I know that I can. We all learn from each other. We've got Graham in Spain. Wow, we've got a truly international audience today. Brilliant. We've got John from Singapore. We've got Hazel from the Midlands on a seven. We've got Louise in South Africa on a six. We've got Andy in Somerset at nine. This is nice to hear, okay, because last year in lockdown, we were getting a lot of twos and threes and fours. So the median's looking higher and a bit better, okay? And no matter where you are, hopefully this session is gonna lift you at least one or two places. We've got Dion in South Africa, Quasi in London, it's feeling amazing and great. Biswati from Dubai on a nine. We've got Helsinki, Gilbert. We've got Phil uh, on a nine, starting his new job this week. Good luck with that, Phil. And we've got David Nibbs. Hi, good to have you here, David in Oxford. So thank you for your interaction. I'm feeling like about an eight uh, right now. And part of the reason is because it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, I know there's a lot of challenges in the world, but I'm grateful for what I've got right now. I'm really trying to remember to be grateful for the things that I have, not focusing on the things that I don't have and the things that are wrong in the world. We've got Dave from East London. He's on a nine, but there's room for improvement. Uh, he's saying you are what you do and think, so keep positive. Absolutely, Dave. Good reminder there. Thank you. And we've got Helen from Harrogate up in North Yorkshire. Good morning. And Catherine from Wembley, UK, feeling around nine. So we've got a lot of people feeling pretty good this morning. So that's fantastic to hear. And if you're not feeling so good, we're going to help you lift. Uh, and we've got Anwar. Oh, hi, Anwar. I haven't heard from you for a long time, my friend. Nice to hear from you. And we've got... Uh, Billy, good morning, Ben. Good to see you again. Billy PTL from Dublin. I'm on top of the house and we've got Mads from Leeds on a five. She's full of cold. So hopefully uh, get out in the sunshine this weekend if you can, Mads. And a little bit of vitamin D. And we've got Edward. Great to be alive and well. Um, there are many others who are not so fortunate. Absolutely. I always say to myself, I was just saying to my partner yesterday, there are billions of people who would love to have our problems. It's a good reframe. We're going to be talking about reframes in a minute. There are literally billions of people in the world who would love to have uh, our challenges. OK. And we've got Peter in Gosport on a nine and uh, Anwar is around an eight up in Yorkshire and Ian Rochford. Good morning from Vienna. So brilliant. Lovely to see so many people from all around the world. Thank you for being here. Let's jump into some content and see if we can lift even by one or two points. So quickly, let's take a reflection. We are just about to enter May, January, February, March, April, May. That's the fifth month of the year. So I know most of us at the beginning of the year, we may do it at different times if we've got uh, year ends in business. But we normally start out the year with some intentions or some goals or some resolutions. And if you're normal or average, the chances are that many of those go by the wayside within a couple of months. So what I just want to quickly ask you just to reflect upon is from whatever you said in your head or you wrote down at the beginning of the year, How's your progress looking as we enter the fifth month of this year? Because we're already five months in. December's going to come around. And before you know it, we're going to be into 2023. So what I'd like you to just think about is, and you don't need to type this in, but what I'd like you to think about is, please, what's one thing, if there was one thing, and there's a good book called The One Thing by Gary Keller, which you can get summaries if you go to YouTube, Gary Keller, The One Thing. What's one thing that you'd like to achieve in the next seven months? Make a note or think up here, please. This is for you, not so much for my benefit. And then just to remember, again, I'm not teaching anybody to suck eggs, but just a good reminder, every time we're making decisions each month, each week, even each day, breaking everything down, what are the things that move you close to that? So if you're taking the time right now to think about that is a priority for me, this is important. I'm determining that if there was one thing that I really want to achieve, whether it's in my health, my relationships, in my online business, uh, my career, whatever that one thing is, let's base our decisions at least monthly, if not weekly and daily, towards taking step, 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 step. And hopefully some of the things that we're sharing this morning will help give you a little nudge uh, in that direction. So here are six simple questions that can help transform your life and business. And again, nothing is rocket science. All of this is quite commonsensical, but it's good to be reminded. So what, whether in whatever area of life, whether it's in your health, whether it's in your relationship, whether it's in your business, whether it's in your online projects that you're doing, what's currently working for me? So every, we've just talked about the importance and the value of time. 
where am I investing my time and what am I doing? What are the activities that I'm participating in and which of those things are working for me? And it may not just be activities. It may often be mindset. Remember, like Simon says, success is 20% mechanics, 80% mindset. So you might mechanically be doing quite a lot of the right things, but you may be holding yourself back in your thought process, in your mindset, which is where we see, myself included, a lot of hurdles, you know, we get to blocks and we don't quite know why we're not moving through things because maybe we're not approaching things correctly up here. So being aware of our mindset as well as the mechanics of what we're doing. So ask yourself what's working for yourself, okay? Whether it's in my relationship, in my business. What's not working for me, okay? So what are you doing that is not working? Again, could be in your online, maybe you're you know, setting up Facebook wrong, maybe you're doing Instagram incorrectly, maybe you're not doing those, maybe you haven't got your LinkedIn profile as it needs to be set up, maybe your website is not really representing you as it needs to be, maybe your, I don't know, your emails, you're not using your emails or you're using the wrong word, so just think about what am I doing that's not getting me the results that I want, so again this is all about mindfulness and being aware. What can I do differently the definition of insanity is doing the same things, expecting different results. So how am I approaching things? Again, it doesn't matter whether it's your health, whether it's your business, whether it's your online projects, whether it's your relationship. You know, we've got all of these different facets of our lives, but we'll talk about our online projects at the moment because we're doing, talking about the Internet Business School. Um, what can I approach differently? What assistance can I get? How can I adapt or learn from other people? So what can I do differently? Then what can I do? There are three things that um, will make a, a, a big difference in our business. I'm going to just summarise again. I'm just approaching this from a slightly different angle. We've covered this before. But what can I do to increase the number of customers or prospects in my business? How can I increase the amount that people spend with me? So can I offer different products? Can I affiliate with other partners or products or services that my target audience may want? And what can I do to increase the amount that people spend with me? So can I increase the value proposition? Can I increase my position within the market? Can I offer large, larger units of purchasing? For example, with me, rather than one coaching session, four coaching or five for the price of four, whatever it is. So how can I increase the amount of spend? Those six questions, if you take the time to contemplate them and make a note of the answers, can significantly make a difference as simple as they may seem. And let's just show you how this works and why. So I'm actually just distilling this again from world leaders at the top of their tree. This is what Dan Sullivan, one of the top coaches just said, if every single month you just do more of what's working, you start cutting away the stuff that's not working in your life, whichever area you want to focus on. And then if you try a different approach, and now when I say try a different approach, let me put a caveat in here. Doesn't mean dropping the idea, not being the person like the next shiny object syndrome. Well, I was on this project and then I got distracted by this email that came in and now I'm not full following through with that and I'm just gonna try this and then I'm gonna try this and this. That's not what we're talking about. Maybe that is the case sometimes, but we do sometimes see people who are just kind of constantly try. What we mean is just approaching things slightly differently. Maybe it's getting a coach to help with mindset or sort of doing some, some liminal or sub training to uh, help change this or doing some mindset coaching. OK, so and then so those those is the what's working, what's not working, trying something differently. And just by the way, Dan Sullivan says he does that with the top level executives. And this has absolutely transformational results in businesses just by focusing on these three things. And then just to show you the number of visitors, the average spend per visit and the number of visits per year. If we have 100 uh, visitors coming and spending 100 pounds or euros, rand, whichever country you're in, it doesn't matter, the principle's the same, and they come four times a year, annual revenues of 40,000. Look, if we can increase each of those three things, the visitors, the spend, and the number of visits per year by just 5%, that increases the business by 16%. And this is by Jay Abrahams, by the way, who's one of the world's top business coaches and was the business mentor to Tony Robbins. If you can increase each of those by 10%, so if you just apply some of the things maybe that I'll share with you or that you learn with the Internet Business School or that you already know that you actually just need to implement from previous trainings or from your just business acumen that you already have up here. Remember, don't, don't underestimate how much you already have up here. We, uh, we know a lot, okay? 
If you can increase each of those three metrics by 10%, that will grow your business by 33%. And if you could spend, let's say, the next year increasing each of those three things by 25%, that will increase your business by 95% just by focusing on how you can increase the number of visitors, the average spend per visit, and the number of visits per year. This is called business optimization and extremely powerful uh, principle for growing any business. So just make a note of that six questions that can make a big difference to your life. Uh, okay, Louise is saying that sounds like me. <laughs> is that chopping and changing, Louise? <laughs> okay, now all you need to do with this, again, we've covered this before, but again, sometimes we just need to come back to the basics, okay? Just on your notepads, maybe you have a notepad, something like this, maybe it's on your computer or your iPad, just think about what are things that I can do to increase my customers. If you've done the internet business training course, or if you've done a Facebook course or an Instagram course, or you've done a degree, or maybe you've done none of that, but you've just kind of, you know, from doing uh, your day-to-day -day work and your business, you have got many ideas. So just start to put down tactics to increase the customers. What can I do? Well, I can change my LinkedIn profile. I could put a link to my website on my Facebook. I could start posting consistently on whichever of the two or three main platforms that you deem to be most appropriate for your target audience, for your niche. Tactics to increase average spends. Maybe I could try bulking products together. For example, Simon could add a coaching session to one of the courses. He could add an extra course as an upsell when people are checking out, when they're buying the Facebook course, they're already effectively saying, I'm interested in social media. So you could offer a LinkedIn course or an Instagram course. You could offer um, larger units of purchase. Walk around a supermarket or go into a store and the next time you're in a store or shop and just have a look at all of the ways that they're constantly doing this. Watch people online when you're checking out online the good marketers and the shops go to Amazon and have a look at the way they show people who bought this also bought this you're showing people related products or service that other people can you give a money back guarantee to take away the risk from people can you uh, get reviews and testimonials and tactics to increase frequency staying in touch with people social media building a list reaching out to people letting people know about news in your industry in the area that maybe they've already put their hand up on into a newsletter or they've liked your page or your social media um profile to give them news and information about what's developing current trends um, new products or services that are in the pipeline. Maybe you're affiliating and recommending other people and you can get a kickback from recommending other related products or services that you don't actually have to fulfill yourself, that other people deliver, but you just sort of direct some traffic and some custom across to them and get a little kickback. So lots of ways you can do this, but just create something very, you know, rudimentary like this, and this can really help. So that's a little summary of six questions that are powerful and should not be overlooked. Now I'd like to share with you um, something that I discovered a few months ago. So I know not everyone has WordPress, but again, on the Internet Business School training, we talk a lot about uh, WordPress for a number of reasons, because it's open source, because um, Google loves it. it. Once you know how to use it fundamentally, it's easy to use, relatively easy to use and it's free most of it is free to use and i was looking for a slider for a website and i came across this and i have now recommended this to a number of people and clients and friends and they're absolutely loving it so apologies for the next two minutes if you're not using wordpress but if you know anyone who's using wordpress you may want to tell them about this but i went through lots of sliders and i found this so it's called prime slider by bd themes okay and it's free and let me just jump across to um okay so this is just the top of a website and then this at the top here is a slider so we've selected an image and then i just need to refresh that page so that it's actually sliding okay and then you choose the text that goes over it OK, so you choose the images, you can have as many sliders as you want. They've got different designs. As you can see here, it's got a little bit of a curved side on the right. And then you've got sort of your title. Um, you can change the size, the dimensions. So there we've just got at the top of a website, 
or it could be on any page of your website at the bottom of a website, a very clean, professional, efficient and adaptable slider. And often you might pay £50 or more for these, but very, very simple to do. And another little tip, just a bonus tip because it's on the top of my head. Where did I get some of these images or where did they get some of these images? P-E-X-E-L-S, pexels.com is an amazing resource for professional royalty free images that you can use that don't cost you anything at all. So that's a designer's little secret tool, pexels.com. So there you go, a slider, you can change the dimensions and it, it adapts to mobile devices as well. And that is by BD Themes. Now, in case you cannot remember how to install a plugin, don't worry, we're just gonna be on WordPress for two more minutes for those who are thinking, well, this isn't relevant for me. You log into your WordPress website. Down the left-hand side of your dashboard, you just come to plugins, okay? So this is the back end of WordPress. We go to add new. And then over here, and this is one of the great things about WordPress, why we love WordPress, is because you can find a plugin. Think of a plugin as an app, and excuse me if I'm teaching you to suck eggs if you already know this, but just think of plugins as apps like you get on your smartphone. You can find plugins for almost anything, for search engine optimization, for Instagram, for Pinterest, for uh, e-commerce. So in this example, I'm just gonna type in Prime Slider because Ben just told me that I might want to use Prime Slider. And there we go, Prime Slider add-ons for Elementor. I've actually already installed that, but if you hadn't installed that and it was the first time, all you would do would be to, I'm going over to the right-hand side here to the one that I haven't installed, you would click Install Now, which pulls that into your website, and then you just click Activate. And then on your left-hand side here, you will now have an option to customize your Prime Slider. Very, very easy to use. Uh, really good slider and I spent more than half a day looking for and testing different sliders and this was the best that I came across uh, especially for free so that's called prime slider now what I'll do if you would like this if it would help I will message you would you like um, what does a slider actually do it's a way of visually presenting information Louise so rather than imagine let's just go back to that website good question what does a slider do it's just a way of visually presenting information visually. So rather than having eight different images, one under another further down the page, that's actually giving a little bit of dynamic content because it's moving on the screen very slowly. And it's just highlighting what this gardening company sort of do, some of their key services. So it's a way of presenting information without taking up uh, a lot of screen space using the same screen space, but whilst also giving something visual you know, a little bit like a, well, is a slideshow. A slider is a slideshow, basically, okay, of whatever you determine and what the wording in the images want to be. So customize that to, or something like that to whatever you want. So thank you for that question. Okay, back to the slides. So uh, the question there is www.pexels.com for professional images, royalty free images, okay? And that was called Prime Slider. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to just pin you. Uh, in a second, I will send you the slides so that you've got all of these resources and you don't have to uh, take a note of absolutely everything. So I'll do that in a moment. So what I'd like to share now is something that I've been working with a couple of people this week, and it made me dig out again these empowering reframes, which are actually taken from Tony Robbins, who, if you don't know, he's like the world's leading coach, arguably. he's the coach of the coaches, um, and he's been way ahead of the game for like nearly 30 years. But he was asked to condense how he processes his life you know what's ultimately despite all of the books you know he's got loads of best-selling books how do you in a moment process what's coming into your life and what's happening to you and obviously he deals with huge changes because he's got businesses and companies all around the world and dealing with multiple millions of pounds and many 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 people all around the world <laughs> and he broke it down into 27 reframes so this is, I'm going to, again, I'm going to send this to you. Let me just see if I can, where do I send this? Stop video participants. Hello, we've got a lot of people on the call this morning, which is fantastic. Uh, right. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Let me just see, save chat. 
Right, I'm going to work that out in a moment so I can focus on the content, but I'm going to send you the slides and these empowering reframes. So let's just think about this. Whatever happens, I'm just going to read through a couple of these. There is always a way, no matter what is happening, there is always a way. Um, number three, daily, I become more, I'm growing. I love number four, there are no failures, there are only outcomes. As long as I learn something, I'm succeeding. So every moment, whatever the challenge, we've been given the opportunity to learn. We either evolve or we repeat. So make a note of that, we either evolve or we repeat. Uh, if I can't, I must. If I must, I can. So if we say, oh, I can't do that, I can't do that. You know, his reframe is, if I can't, I must. And if I must, then I can. You know, just simple things but this is what makes him a world leader at the top 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 of his game um i love number 10 everything happens for a reason and purpose that serve me that serve my highest good imagine that if no matter how bad something is whatever the challenges that's thrown at us or we experience if we believe everything actually happens for a reason if i don't understand it or comprehend it right now it's happening to help me to grow to expand to become a better version of me so everything happens for a reason and purpose that serve me and so, uh, number 11, if it doesn't work, I'm about to learn something, get something new or find something even better ahead. I love this. I had a call from a friend last night who, um, unfortunately, his relationship, his relatively young relationship uh, is no longer. I said, great. <laughs> Plenty more people out there. Someone even better, more suited to you is coming. OK, so if it doesn't work, I'm about to learn something, get something new or find something even better. So you can see these are just really powerful reframes for approaching life. And I'll, these are on the handout that I'm going to send you. Um, let me just take a couple more. Um, did it. Number 17, if I don't like the way something feels, I do something else or change the way that I'm evaluating it. OK, direction number 19 is more important than outcome. So, OK, I tried an Internet project or I tried, uh, I don't know, my website and it didn't come out quite how I wanted it. Or I sent an email out and I didn't quite get the response I want. It's not necessarily the specific outcome of that one action. It's the fact that you're walking in the direction of taking the affirmative action of learning your internet project, of learning about your web provider or sending emails or marketing or your Facebook profile, whatever it is. So it's more because some people are like, oh, I tried that. That didn't work. OK, you tried that. You didn't get the outcome that you wanted but you're working and you're moving in the right direction. So anyway, lots of empowering reframes there. And by the way, if you want to just take some screenshots of these as well, um, you know, this is all for you to get the most from this, uh, this couple of hours that you're spending with us this morning. So these will be included in the handout that I'm giving you. What I'd like to share with you now, something a little bit different, is something that's been revolutionizing the video production sphere. And it's something that I'm about to actually start using. So I'm, I've been aware of this for a couple of years. I've recommended it to some people who have really embraced it, uh, including a guy called Jeremy Mason, who actually hosted, co-hosted one of these uh, Saturday sessions a few weeks back. Now he's got a professional video company, production company, and they've got all of the big cameras and all of the big stands and the vans to get them around. And when I shared this with him about a year and a half ago, he was like, Ben, you have just shown me something that can totally transform our product offering and what we're able to offer people on different budgets, um, you know, who want video. So if you have been thinking about doing video editing, if you have been thinking about doing video streaming, if you have been thinking about wanting to create courses or anything to do with video, you may well want to consider this. Now, the bad news is, depending on, if you're not an iPhone, an iOS user, this product isn't for you. However, there is a, I, uh, sorry, an Android version called ManyCam, M-A-N-Y, ManyCam. I'll type that in, ManyCam. I think it's .com, that's for Android, but Switcher is for iOS devices. So this basically allows you to take up to nine iOS devices, iPads, iPhones. You can borrow one from a colleague, a family member, a neighbor if need be, and then you can connect them together. So to create as many different shots. So let's imagine that we want to create a cooking course we get four phones together or iPad and iPad and four phones. We download Switcher Studio. 
And what we can do is we can use the different camera angles. So maybe we we get some. I, we've had a couple of people who've literally just used gaffer tape and they've just put um, the, one of the cameras above their cooking islands. Okay so that they've got an overhead view they've had a daughter walking around and they've just shown her how to walk around and slowly just film no harsh movements and just change the height and to move around so that's a moving camera shot they had uh, two cameras on tripods and then the husband was using the app to jump between the cameras so this is a way of creating professional videos on a shoestring using devices that we've all got access to rather than spending thousands of pounds now so you can do video editing you can link into let's just go down the page here you can link into facebook live youtube twitch linkedin zoom instagram tiktok um, and do lives you can within the app you if we were recording let's say this session now from this two hour session we could come down and take little 30 second edits of little bits of gold or sound bites for instagram or for tiktok or for social media um, we can uh, edit live we can invite guests we can invite other guests to actually host the content you can put in all of the little um the text at the bottom of the screen, you know, when you watch the news or when you watch things on TV, I don't know, whatever you watch, whichever channels, but you see sort of the ticker tape at the bottom or the name Ben Brophy, you know, sharing video tips, the name of the link, and you can have buttons included as well. So it's called Switcher Studio. It's absolutely incredible. Um, well worth having a look. They've got some fantastic training resources in here. If you come to their website and you can access these for free in their blog, in their resources, and the prices start at four, it's the average, the main, you know, the, the standard one is $45 a month. So as with anything, the question to ask is for $11, $11.25 a week, how much would I have to get? How many extra sales or how much uh, time would I have got back by using something like this? And what's the value of my time for creating professional content that's going to stand out from the crowd and ultimately rather than a piece of content just being static with one camera angle as nice as that is and that's better than doing nothing imagine if all of a sudden now we could have a camera cutting to over here maybe we've got a behind shot uh, maybe you're cutting to something so and there are some massive brands that are using this by the way um I don't know if oh, they used to have it on the home page but there are some huge bands including some of the BBC Sport have used this um discovery channel and others okay so come and have a look here you go look on the right hand side you can actually do uh selling so you could be doing a facebook live you can then uh record the comments coming in you can put buttons you can put offers and all sorts of stuff so it's called switcherstudio.com definitely worth having a look at right now something else i want to share with you is the potential of recording audio and just type in yes if it's making uh, sense so far, by the way, please. So we've got Henry, um, we've got Kathy, Louise, super. Okay, lovely. So podcasting is basically just audio. So when people say podcasting, what's podcasting? It's basically listening to audio. So is it important to be able to create audio? Absolutely. What could you potentially use it for? Well, you could do it for literally just taking content that you've already got on the web or on a blog post or some news and you just read that so now let's imagine that you're not looking at me let's let's get rid of the camera and now you're listening so you're engaging with me okay so you could read web content you could just take content that you've already created or you're about to create on your web or any handouts that you've got and just read through it that is audio you could do audio versions of your blog posts so just any blog posts that you or your team or your outsourcers have created just read them you could read an audio book. So one of the things I say to anyone who's created a book is have you done an audio book version? Because almost 50% of sales are now audio based. I only 98% of books that I consume are audio books just because it suits my lifestyle. I can go walking, I can be training, I can be doing any manner of things and listening. I can be driving so I can multitask basically and save time. So I say to anyone, have you done an audio version of a book? So if you've ever written a book, please do an audio version if you haven't already. 
you can offer audio recording as a service you can com communicate um info news you can go to google trends google news or whatever um web platform browser you use and get some information in your niche and just you know in your own way present some of that news and information for your audience you can send audio out to your list and your contacts so here are 11 reasons that I think it's important to record and share audio podcasts. Right, audio is super convenient for the consumer. They can listen without having to watch. They can drive, okay, or do whatever they're doing and listen. Video is great, but audio just gives added ability to be able to be out walking without having to be glued looking at the screen. To help develop an audience, it doesn't cost, you know, even five, six, seven years ago, it may have cost 500 pounds to get the equipment. Now you can get started for under 80 pounds um, to increase the, less than that. In fact, to increase the size of your network, you can make money from your shows and audios in multiple different ways to help position yourself as an authority in your industry. How many uh, YouTubers, podcasters, people who've just jumped straight in have all of a sudden within sometimes within months become, you know, respected in their field and stood out from people who've been in the arena for many many years just by being visible by presenting audio or video content so you can become uh, an authority in your niche to promote your products or service to connect you know there's an argument to be said audio is almost more personal than video because the person you don't necessarily see them but you're really connecting with them and hearing and getting to know them think about things that you've listened to in the past the radio shows that you listen to you probably don't know what a lot of the presenters listen to but you really have a feel for them so connecting hearing a voice makes it more personal it doesn't take much time at all there's an expression a face for radio maybe you're not as confident or you don't feel great you know i don't particularly like being in front of the camera but you know anyone can talk and we're all self-critical I hate listening to myself but actually that's how I sound and I'm 46 years old and that's how I've always sounded roughly people will engage with us not everyone will like us but many people engage with us and people who do connect to us will connect with us because they appreciate what we're sharing you don't need expensive lighting you don't need expensive backdrops there's no heavy memory storage uh, as with some other production techniques so there's lots of reasons to do audio okay and it's easy to get onto Spotify and other leading platforms for free. So let me give you a tip. Here's a free tool that you can use to download for free and to start recording straight away. It's, once you know how to use it, it's easy. It's called Audacity. It's been around for a long time. It's open source software, but you can download it from audacityteam.org forward slash download. No strings attached. Um, just a, a direct download, um, super, super easy to use. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. I know that may be a bit scary if you've never used something like that before, but trust me, it's not actually very hard. And here are the six uh, fundamentals. You set your microphone level. Maybe you haven't even got a microphone. It doesn't matter. You can just use to get started because again, we want to get rid of any excuses that some people may have. You just get moving with what you've got. So you can use your computer microphone to get started. So you set your microphone input. Maybe that's just saying my desktop microphone. You check the recording levels to make sure it's not too low or too high. You just get rid of any unwanted content, the door knocking, the dog barking, somebody walking in the door slamming, or maybe you fluffed something or said some stuff that you didn't want to say, or you wanted to do another take on it. You can rearrange things. So things don't need to be recorded in the in the natural order of things you can move things around and then you can add any additional audio if you want some soft background music or an intro or an outro or anything else that's very easy to do and then you just export it basically save it and export it as you would do to export a pdf if you were doing a word document and you wanted to export it as a pdf you just export it for sharing across the internet so Everything's easy when you know how. Take a screenshot of that. That's just something that I sometimes offer, but for £45, if you want that, you can have that literally as a giveaway. That's a nice training, which is pretty complete, telling you how to create, record, and share onto Spotify and other platforms, okay? So let me give you some extra bonuses before we hand over to Simon in about 10 minutes' time somebody who has made an absolutely huge impact on my life he passed about five years ago is a guy called Dr Wayne Dyer now I realize that there is 
one of the books or the resources that I go back to quite frequently is this really succinct little 55 minute audio book, which has been kindly uploaded to the internet and which Hay House, the publishers have allowed to be kind of shared in the spirit of Wayne Dyer, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now. So this is basically a 55 minute audio book, which is called 101 Ways to Transform uh, Your Life. Every single time I listen to it, I always get an extra insight or something that I didn't hear or I hear in a different way every time that I listen to it. So you can go, if you go to that link there, uh, I'll send you the slides. Um, it's bit.ly full slash 101 ways to transform your life audiobook. And I shared this with a friend of mine and it impacted his life so much in a positive way and he was going through some challenges at the time that he actually took the <coughs> he took the time to actually uh notate and transcribe each of the 101 ways um i did actually tell him let me just give you another bonus tip here now just because we're talking about this he could have saved himself a couple of days of work because he was taking a long time doing this and he could have just paid uh about 15 dollars and had the whole thing done by Temi. <clears throat> so if you ever want to transcribe audio, maybe you've got, um, well, maybe you're doing research for a project and you're listening to a TED talk. Maybe you've created a video and you want to upload the transcript as a PDF attachment or to send out your email list for the people who want to also read the content. You can just go to temi.com, upload your file, or any file for that matter, you can upload a YouTube video. If you want to pull out the text content of any YouTube or Vimeo video, go there, upload the file, and within five to 10 minutes, you will get an almost about 95 to 97% accurate, 98% accurate transcription, which you can save and then edit um, or use as you wish. So that is temi.com, a fantastic resource. My friend didn't know about that, but he kindly uh, transcribed, um, that's you actually, uh, Simon, if you're listening, that's Hugh, who you introduced me to, who's become a best friend of mine. But he trans transcribed that book. So I'll happily send you that in a moment as well. Once I come off, I'll send you the slides in the chat. OK, so that's 101 ways to transform your life. And then what I also discovered is that this person has uploaded a load of Wayne Dye books. So this is an absolute gold. It won't be appropriate for absolutely everyone, but there is so much timeless wisdom in here. And there is, you know, probably more so than any one person in my life over the years, the nuggets of wisdom I've got from Wayne Dyer and the information, the wisdom that he shared has massively, massively improved my life. So I just want to pay this forward. But Hay House Publishers have allowed this channel to upload some of Wayne Dyer's audiobooks. So there you go. If you go to bit.ly forward slash Wayne Dyer audiobooks, you have resources that you can enjoy, especially through these challenging times that we're going through whilst you're learning about your internet projects and all of this technical mechanicals. Remember what Simon says and what Tony Robbins says, success is 20% mechanics, 80% mindset. So some of this stuff could really maybe potentially help with the mindset. And also because time is the most valuable asset, which we never get more of, Let's give you some access to some top books that have been nicely summarized, you know, into sort of sub 10 minute videos. Most of them are under 10 minutes. A couple of them are about 12 minutes. But here are some of the best selling uh, books with the key points pulled out. So this is bit.ly bit forward slash quick book summary videos. So eight things poor people do that rich people don't. The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz, a classic. The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, another international bestseller. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, the key points taken in eight minutes. So lots of great information rather than spending, you know, days of time uh, reading. Not to say that that's a bad thing, but if you're pushed for time, but you want key takeouts, this could be a resource that you find useful. So I'm going to hand over in a moment to Simon, but if you at any point would like any support of myself, just off, uh, email Roger or the team at Internet Business School Office at gmail.com and then they'll forward on a message to myself. And I'm about to send you um, the slides, but what I'd like you to just think of, obviously we've compressed quite a lot into 45 minutes, but what's one action that you're going to take, one takeout and one action that you're going to take from this first session. Okay, so let's just have a quick look what we've looked at. We've got um, a whole raft of book summaries. 
we've got Wayne Dyer, Timeless Wisdom, a whole load of information there. 101 Ways to Transform Your Life, the audio book and the PDF, which I'm about to send you. We've got um, some tips on podcasting that you can download Audacity for free. So that's audacityteam.org forward slash download. Ultimately, there are just a few things, the microphone, um, your background noises, just rearranging content and then adding any additional audio with the fundamentals that you need to know about. You don't need to know, you know, what 90% of the buttons do. Super, super simple to do. But there are lots of benefits for doing podcasting. Um, that it's very easy to do that you can literally just be reading content that you've already created uh, and to go back through previous emails maybe that you've sent out or previous posts look at your highest performing posts maybe you want to turn those into audio we've looked at switcher studio which is a game-changing app which enables you to create professional videos for courses um, for anything for for video content for live streaming allows you to add buttons uh, text um, multiple camera angles and the alternative to that for Android is manycam.com. Uh, we've looked at Tony Robbins empowering reframes which normally you only get when you attend his date with destiny uh, event which is his high level training. Um, I will send you the slides. Talking of slides we've looked at Prime Slider which is free to install for WordPress which gives you beautiful rotating slides in the whole combination of options by so that's prime slider by bd themes and then we've just said that there are six questions that you want to potentially contemplate okay keeping things super simple and they are what's working for me do more of it what's not working for me do less of it what can i do differently to adapt and modify our approach because if we do the same things we're going to get the same results what can I do to increase the number of customers to my project or my business? What can I do to increase the frequency of purchase? What can I do to increase the amount spent per transaction and how those three things, if you combine them and increase each of those by 25%, that that can lead to a 95% increase in your business. So that's my section for the moment i'll be around at the end uh, i will send you these slides once i come off my and i can just focus on the technology and i'm looking forward to hearing what our guests have so mr coulson and, and let me just ask sorry what's one more thing let me just hear what's one thing that you've taken um from this session please and then i'm just handing over to the big man mr simon coulson and lovely to see so many people here just want to say on behalf of myself and simon and all of the team we really do respect and appreciate you investing in your time to come and learn you could be doing anything else in your life but the fact that you're giving of your time to learn with us um you know it's not something that we take lightly and we appreciate that so wishing you a very very happy bank holiday weekend i'll stay in the chat and i'll be around at the end to take any questions and i'll send you the slides once i come off but i'd like to hand you over back to mr simon coulson please